I even want a piece of somebody. Welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show. Today's video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. It's a fishing app game that you can actually play against your kids, play against yourself, play against other people across the world if you wanted to. Uh, it gets kind of exciting now. If you have seen me fish in the last couple episodes of my Yacht Yacht channel, you know my kids have been wearing me out about how I fish. And look at that, I've already caught a hog fish for the hog man. So today what I'm doing is actually I'm in a meeting waiting on uh, to do a meeting about some hog traps and the uh, explosion of wild hogs in the state of Mississippi. But while I wait, I pass my time by playing Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is in the top 50 in Google Play Store. Played by 80 million in 171 countries. Grab your professional fishing tackle and go to the extreme fishing adventure. A 3D fishing simulator offers an abundance of fish species and a superb fishing experience at numerous locations worldwide. And what I like about the game is one minute you could be fishing in the ocean, the next minute you could be over at Lakes Gunnerville catching them big wide mouth bass, come on. With the options to upgrading your tackle, your weights, your lures, your rods and reels, you just have the opportunity to catch fish all over the world. And to get you started, I want you to use promo code YALT YALT to claim $20 worth of free gifts, and this is how you do it. Click up here in the top right hand corner, look down to where it says gift codes, then type in YALT YALT and claim your $20 gift. You'll get in a unique avatar, one mythical card, 50 luck power-ups, and a 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. Thank you again to Fishing Clash for sponsoring today's video. Download the game by using my link in the description box or scan the QR code you see on the screen. Oh, and I'm gonna catch one more fish. Looks like I got a good blue runner there. But uh, as this meet is about to start, and we're gonna be talking about hogs, let's go jump into some real hog action right now.
All right. Well, I'm a little, I was a little bit more quieter on this road end, trip in this time, trying to ease down here with these hogs, but we got them uh, knocked down now and then uh, trying to save this corn and whatnot. So let me start getting these pulled out. Y'all know it's uh, kind of looks like a massacre in there. So uh, I'll do the best I can with hiding the blood. May see some black and white footage here, but got to get them loaded up on the trailer. And then, uh, so they'll be taken care of, and then we got to get out of here. We still got more hogs, I believe, in here. But this was a first night catch. Set this trap yesterday uh, after lunch and call them at 4 o'clock this morning. So hopefully we're saving some corn. Uh, this corn is usually used for uh, cow feed. So it'll be ground up or whatnot, done for cows and uh, chickens. So not for the hogs anymore. But anywho, let's get to work. Load of pigs. 21, I believe it was. So load up. 21 pigs. Two rows of eight and five. Just the right eating size. Oh, get a little dog food this morning. How y'all doing this morning? What you think? Good morning. Y'all see we got some hogs caught. So it's a little early, so. Oh, brisk. 87,000 degrees this morning. <laughs> oh, man, it's been hot, ain't it, guys? Well, we're finna head on down here right now. See if we can find. See, we got we got a little daylight. Trying to creep in. It's about five. But hey, I tell you what, we got a wind. Feel like it's out of the south. But anyway, that's nice. So make sure I got some boots and stuff. Man. Yeah. I got some boots right there and a little corn. I know I got some gloves in there. Anyway, got my guns up front. Need to get my Bible out of my wife's car. We'll, we just got back from vacation. Uh, when I say vacation, we just went out to the lake and uh, get my Bible. Just daylight. I might want to read a little bit. Uh, well, ain't that I might. I need to. <laughs> I always need to read Bibles. Anyway. Oh. We got guns. I see y'all. Where the pigs at? Unless I gotta have gas. I'm trying to get myself together, motivated. Y'all help me get motivated. Say, get motivated, David. <laughs> or just text y'all, y'all. That'll wake me up. Still rolling. I'm about 25 minutes from my house, so. Uh, what time is it? 5.53. Just gotta keep rolling. See the gates? It had not been a waste. Oh, I got another gate down here too. So I'm baiting on. Taking my trailer, going hook up to my trailer and going down there. Or uh just going down there, knock the pigs in the head. And then uh I'm 
might get the trailer. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Downhill right here. We'll go ahead and unlock this gate. Traps at the back, back here. Back of this cornfield. We gotta go way back there to the back of that trap maker somewhere. We well, shall see. Yeah. Oh, let's uh, let's go see this rodeo. Just look how destroyed that corn is. We even put a trap over here. Lounge bought. So you couldn't even see through the back of that field. Now it's all that's just beat down. I guess we're a little late on trying to save the corn for the calves. Yeah, so we can put a trap right there. I think it's a new trap. I think we can catch them up here. Did not catch them up here. They just kept eating the corn down. Come around the corner. Huh? This y'all's favorite part right here, ain't it? Hey, that's some big holes there, cuz. Hey, that's some big holes, son. That's gonna be a little trailer load right there. I ain't but five, but this is it's five thick ones. I'm gonna get these knocked in the head real quick and uh, we'll be right back with you. Big hogs. I want a piece of somebody. All right, we got them knocked down. I'm gonna show you this right here. Now, when I got here earlier, this camera was actually turned towards that field over there, and I was trying to figure out, other than the hogs jumping and hitting that camera or something, why it was turned facing them hay bales over there. Well, I got back over here, and that's fresh mud right there. It's 
fresh mud and that's fresh mud so a hog come in here and he walked right in between there uh, so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna reset this one this one I'm, uh and use this camera i'm going to granny's and get the other trap that we'll take to the refuge for the next uh uh spot to trap so anyways we got these knocked down we're gonna get them loaded up get this cage up and loaded up and whatnot and uh, y'all know how that goes i mean load trailers load a trailer full we got a little bit smaller trailer today so we might have to stack them like cordwood but anyway we know we still got another hog here because he done showed up and left him left his mark of mud Like I said, I thought it wasn't that big because but that one side was just broke off. Stop. Gonna have to have one of these drag. My whole wrist ain't gonna hold up. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. Corn got demolished. Now this is just old feed corn for the cows, which would have just been cut and ground up for the winter feed for the cows. But there ain't nothing there. Small trailer, it'll hold though. It'll hold. <laughs> it do stout, cuz. You just grab him by the. Uh, so i'm gonna show you something guys mr brad said that he had been watching this hog had been dragging her back legs you can see the hide in the mud right there oh uh, where she'd been dragging now she was she was gimpy in the trap but she uh there for a while she had been dragging just kind of scooting like old dog worms and uh anyway she was back up and going so mr brad said he thinks she had a litter maybe broke her down or something but she's back going so that just shows how resi resilient they are oh uh, you can't you can't hardly i tell people don't even bury these things they'll just plant back up but they're just bad so anyway we're gonna get these we had to take a break after that big dude right there and, uh, he just stout he just that's a stout dude right there oh, anyway Whew. let's get these loaded I told him last time, I said, man, I said, you, I can cut them. I said, I can grab two or three, stop the video, start it back up, make it look like I drug 15 real fast. Man, he never quit. <laughs> I couldn't take a break. Couldn't catch my breath. <sighs> you just grab them back legs, kind of. I'm going to bring her on. One, two, three. I believe we're going to have a trailer load. That's right. That's twenty. That's twenty six that I caught. Yeah. You caught twenty three. Uh -huh. Forty. Forty nine. Eh? Man, yeah. <laughs> that's forty nine. Been taking out this little corn patch. I'm still gonna try to do yeah, it. Still, they still. There's still some here. One, two, three. I never want one more, but I always say, let's catch one more. <laughs> well, you know it's there. Yeah, we know it's there. We didn't see the mud on the outside of the trap. I look. I wish I had a way I could just put them on my straight to my telephone. And if I can find one with the hogs going yeah. in between there, I'm going to send it to you. Two, three. How's he? Woo! I 
don't care what size trailer you brought. It's still a trailer load. <laughs> Glad we didn't hit 17 today. Whew. Trap free, rebated, and we're going up here to get my camera now. So, uh, because I'm going to use it to load up another trap that's at Granny's house. But anyway, 26 hogs caught right here, and he caught 23, so that's 29, 49. Man, if we catch one more, it'll be 50 hogs caught right here. So, let's see, he's up here while he's hauling the pigs out. He's going to go uh, take care of them hogs and uh, give to whoever wants or don't want or. Uh, Whatever, hey, land on against first choice always. And Mr. Brad said, uh, he's just gonna turn his cows loose in here after we get out of here. And uh, once we're done, we'll pull these traps up and he's just gonna let his cows eat in there. I know a lot of people saying that there's grass in there, but initially all this was was just for cattle feed. So it wasn't for row crop to make hard corn or whatever, just for him, but the hogs, 49 hogs that we know of and we still got a few more took over this little plot of land and just destroyed it so now he'll have to buy cattle feed for the winter so for all the people that don't understand trapping now you understand it i know a lot of y'all raise animals raise cows you'd be mad as all get out of 49 hogs come in here and tore up your crop for you for your cow, uh, winter feed so Well, there he goes. And uh, I got my camera in there. And that's the big pig trap that he bought. Uh, so he's got him one. They just hadn't been conditioned long enough, but that's okay. But, oh, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We caught some pigs, didn't we? Oh, but any which way, I guess we'll just get back to the uh, head knocking the head to the next spot. It's always more pigs to catch. It's just, can I catch them? Do you think I can catch them? Well, <laughs> glad you enjoy. Let's roll. Whoo, what a meeting, what a meeting. Any which way, I hope y'all enjoyed the little bit of uh, hog action I just showed you, and hopefully uh, we'll save some more corn to help the farmers out. Y'all don't forget to go download the free Fishing Clash app and uh, well, y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you.